right, everybody, what is up? Welcome back. Long Dark, Tales from the Far Territory, Buried Echoes, Contamination Zone. We're heading in. We got the mine key last episode. The episode before that, we got the foreman's key. I came back to my place here and refilled the lamp, got some more lamp fuel. And comment section came through again, and my friend Legacy pointed out that the... Um, the gun thingy, this guy, I was looking at the weight of the gun. I wasn't looking up here at the overall weight. It did drop it. So it does drop it. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to carry it with me right now. Um, I guess I really, I don't know. I don't really need the crampons on right now, but I do need my, yeah, I'm just going to leave it here for now, but it does work. So that's good. And this isn't dried yet. So thank you guys for pointing that out. That's very normal, traditional, me not looking at the right part of the screen, which works out. So we're heading back. I I just started, and I thought I had saved and left off where I thought I wanted to be. But I I just noticed I was carrying just a boatload of food and, and drinks. So I offloaded about half of what I had. So I can always shoot back up here if I need to. Now, here's my goal for today. That mine down there is super confusing. So what I'm going to do is, I think what I'm going to do is... I want to peek in where they want me to go. But then I think I'm going to double back. I hit him that time. I'm going to double back, and I want to check out that other area that, um, oh, it was, I went, it's where I first went down in the mine, ep, you know, more than a few episodes ago, and I went one, one way, and there was a locked gate, if I remember correctly. I went the other way, and I got suffocation, so... I want to see what what's what, because this mine could be ginormous, and if I can find what I need to find with the shortest way possible, I'm actually really concerned with how fast the canisters burn through uh, when you're using them. Maybe there's more canisters down in the mine. We did find, I think, one or so down in there, but out here... Leading up to finding the first canister and then getting the respirator? None. None laying around, so that's... This guy's running away even before I shoot at him. Hey, you better run, sucker. So the first place we need to do is get, get to the second to the highest level and shoot out there. After that, we're going to come back out, go to the middle building, and there is a like a conveyor system that goes down instead of across. And I think it goes underneath the building. Interest interesting thing about that is if it is if it is the same mine, uh one one of the two might be closer to wherever I need to go. Let's see what it says. Explore the locked zone of the mine for any signs of Rudiger. So if they're both locked, if they're both use the same mine key, then I should explore each one. Because I tell you what, you can get lost in these places, man. That ain't no joke. So this one here is the, the normal. You go in here, you, tra you transition down that one into this building. Once you get into this building, there's this one. That takes you into the large building. There should be a second one that goes down, like on that angle there. Yep, there it is, right there. Right there. So we're going to go up there first. And then well, I'm going to double back and go down there because I want to. I want to, man. Maybe there's something like just in, just inside the mine. So the other one is right there. That, we, that one actually goes whoop straight down. This one goes up into... The next building. Now, I filled up my uh, lantern and I brought 
some lantern fuel. So we should be good there. Should be good there. Do, 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 do. Now there's this whole area here is still really searchable, honestly. Um, I kind of just moved, you know, moved through here. But there's not... I'm looking for those uh, security logbooks and pages and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily looking for anything else. Oh, and cartridges. Cartridges, too. Cartridges. Is this the right way? I think so. Okay, and then back here. Got to remember where I've been and where I need to go. Okay, that led us up there, led us to where the respirator was, and there's still some searchable areas up there. Coal. I wonder what they were getting from this mine. You know, like, what were they mining for here? You know, the backstory that's going on in this, you pick, you pick up a book, or a, uh, one's like a book, a log, and one's a clipboard. And there's no writing on it. You have to, like, you know, listen and read the sub subtitles. It's... <laughs> Leading up to this, like in, in Signal Void, they were they had one of them was the security chief's logbook, okay? One of them was the security chief's logbook, and another one was like the the writings of a psychiatrist talking to employees. You know? It's like, okay, and it, it kind of led into here because the security person was talking about Rudiger. And Rudiger and the people going nuts, so it they definitely tied Signal Void into this. But what, like, what the background is, I have no idea. Like, I don't know what the story is. Were they mining for like something nuclear? Like, you know what I mean? It's it's a little confusing. Hmm. This see, this is what I'm talking about. Look, right right away, there's. There's a thing here, like a pen. Pen? Not P P E N pen. Cage? Look, we've got this. Ah bong. Alright, what do we got in here? We're gonna look for a books or notepads. Cotton toque. It's a toque! It's not a beanie. Oh, hello. Canisters. Wow, three canisters. Oh, thank you. Oh, here we go. Security Chief's Log. All right. Let me look because I'm going to extinguish my thing. I don't know how much time actually passes when you're reading, but no reason to hold your lantern. A recycled can. Interesting. No reason to hold the lantern whilst we read this. Because you can't see anything anyway. I can probably make it back to the surface before the weather turns again. Moving slowly now. Recording as much as I can. The writing helps keep me here. Otherwise, my mind wanders. To the sea. To small ships and deep water. My mother's voice. Okay. So she's definitely going crazy. So that book... That didn't advance us at all. Like, you know, this. That didn't... That didn't advance us. Okay, so... But I'm sh Seems like we need it. More coal... Now this is where I want to possibly go back out. Is 
See, can you tell when it becomes a suffocation risk? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to let's go check the other way. Because in case there's something like right inside there, I don't remember get one way. This could be ultra confusing. And there's no there's no map underground. Oh, this is strange. Um, this is Mystery Lake. We're underground. It's shown us Mystery Lake. Zone of contamination, forsaken airfield. This is the world map of the far territory. You come in from down here far range branch line to transfer pass and you go up to forsaken field or straight forward into the contamination zone but the region is showing me mystery lake oh i guess under underground it just you can scroll between all of them but there's no map underground i guess is what i'm getting at yeah let's go back i want to check this out so we know our key works on this one and early on, like when I first <clears throat> went into these buildings, I made my way across thinking I was going to hit this building. I ended up in a mine, but it's down like down below. So if this or that one down there, I know I'm looking weird, but look, the one down here somewhere, one of these is like an entrance and an exit, right? One has to be closer than the other. Which one is, I don't know. There's the zone of contamination right there, but there's more contamination everywhere but there. It's it's like they had chemical spills, you know? Like there's barrels of... And that's what I want to know. What is that stuff? Is that stuff what these miners maybe breathed in or something and it made them all crazy? They all want to go home. The stories are just... Beyond belief. Woo! Okay, we go down again. Woo! We go down one more time. Woo! And again. Woo! And you could go all the way down there, but we're going to go over there. Double back. This particular release, this chapter, I think it's chapter four. Buried Echoes, I think, is chapter four of the of the far territory stuff. Definitely had like these buildings are bigger, bigger than I the only other big building in the whole game that I can think of that comes to mind is the dam. Right? This building's big. These two buildings, like, I'm in another one now. And then that bunker back at the airfield and how big the um, the uh, hangar is in the airfield. It's pretty cool. Everything else has been, like, you know, obviously going to be small cabins and cottages and burnt places. But these are cool. These big indoor places. I like it. All right. We're going to go down. Right down here. We're going down into the mine. I think I'll push, I think I will push forward. Well, let's just, let's see if it opens first. There is a second, there is a second way down here too. It's the first time I ran through and got suffocation, which was that way. Down there. Now this is frozen. See, this is what I think you might need those boots for. And I walked up to this and it said locked. And you cannot go this way. Is it locked by a chain? 
All right, here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is the exit. And it's probably a lot shorter than anywhere else. I'm guessing that's the exit. Because if we go up top, man, we're going to get lost. I'm going to get lost. We're going to have to work our way through and figure out they, they're kind of vague in telling us what to look for. Explore the lock zone of the mine. We just got to look for stuff. So I had to try, right? I had to try. Because what if this way was like, gets us right to where we need to go? Moving on back. You guys are probably like, dude, you're crazy. Why don't you just keep going forward? Well, I, I kind of know that this where we're going right now is super long it's really long like it's really deep and there's multiple branches that i have no idea where they go um and i know that a lot of it most of it is poisoned and we're probably going to use up all our cartridges so i know that for sure and I know there was another way out. I just didn't know where it was. I think it's that one down there. But apparently we'll probably have to find maybe another key or something to get out. Or maybe it's only accessible from the other side. Hopefully. Because as, as long and as far in as this goes, I don't think we have enough canisters to get in and get out. We have... Three, six, nine canisters. Plus the one that's on there. And I don't know how, I don't remember how much time we have left on that bad boy. But when you're in it, man, it's burning through it. It's like, if a real charcoal canister on a, on a respirator burned that fast, then no one would ever work in hazardous areas because... That's a little ridiculous. Like, you have one minute before you croak, you know? It's like, what? The one thing I could have done is taken off um, some clothes. Pants are optional. Like, you know, you have I'm double layered on everything. If I would have gone to single layers, what it would have done is that sprint bar, the, uh, the red part, bottom right-hand corner, it would have given me longer sprint duration. It would have given me longer sprint duration. But who knows what kind of weather we're going to come upon. My character, I guess I, I was going to say I haven't been cold forever. That's not true. When I was hunting around at night with the aurora and the glimmer fog, uh, my clothes were getting frozen. So I was getting cold. The bottom left corner, the little temperature one, actually was not solid like it always is. So there's that. All right, we're going to we're going to go for this. Wish me luck. Wish me luck because this is this is pretty scary. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat Got to this I've had this meat on me for a while now. Eat some of that and I think I'm going to save the sodas cuz the sodas give you a little bit of food and since I just topped out the food, I'll go with the water. And make sure our respirator is under that. And then on here, it's right there. All right. So when I need to put that on, I can do it quickly. I don't want to. I don't. I think if you're wearing it in a non-contamination area, it doesn't use the canister, though. Or it just goes really slowly. What do you guys think? Stay um, right. I try to do in Minecraft. I'd do the same thing. Always go right, 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 or left, 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 left. Like we're gonna skip that one. We're gonna stay right. Always stay right. Oh, I can see this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna sprint while I can. We gotta double check, make sure we don't see any logs or anything along the way. Dead end. Yeah, that looks like it could connect to that other offshoot that was over there. 
some wood. Out of sprint. Almost ready. Okay, you see how it's not burning down? So right now I'm in a non-suffocation zone. So I, I think it, even though it obstructs a bit of your view, I think it's better to hold it on, keep it on because you know, like right now is not critical for me to sprint. Because I'm not in a hazard zone. The only way to tell is if you can see it fogging up or vignetting your screen. Or, with this on, you can see if it's burning your canister. Oh, shoot. I said right, but this looks like... The music's playing. This doesn't look like a... A way to go. Oh, I'm suffocating. Oh, shoot. Did I just die? guy oh that did go through well we're st sticking with our theory of making right hand turns wow dude this is not good dead end what is that hard hat we're in here okay well, so far, I've stuck to what I said. I've been making all the right-hand turns I can. Who knows where that goes? I'm going to light this lantern. Cool. Look at that. wonder how long that stays lit. Simple tools. I don't know why I took those, but I took them just in case. I can drop them. I've had simple tools and advanced tools for a long time. I just don't know where the, where the heck I'm keeping them. Wow, we are spiraling down. Down, down, down. This mine has a ton of offshoots. What... <laughs> What if I came out like at Mystery Mystery Lake or something and be like <coughs> like <laughs> like what? Suffocation risk healed. Alright, we got a little thing going on here. That lit. Oh, look at this. A security chief's logbook. And then we got a way. Ah, uh, look at this. This is frozen. Could it be the exit? Where that other place that I was looking at? All right, let's go read this book. I think I'll just leave my lantern on this time. I'm never leaving this place. I see that now. I tried to reason with him, to get him to see what this had all cost us. Rudiger had other plans. Rudiger. The transmission site over the mountains. <laughs> He's always had a way out. Always. He risked nothing. So I came back down to try and smash this thing. Or do you something smash what thing anything i think i'll just close my eyes for a little while oh i, I don't think she's doing very good uh i don't i don't think she's doing very good that did not advance her story Well, that's unfortunate. Danger, keep out. Oh, what the? Okay, oh, we found something here. Open door. What the deuce is this thing? Can I take my mask off?
approach the machine. Okay. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it! Um, I, I didn't touch it. My character touched it. What the deuce? What is this thing? Expired improve. Oh, oh, we've got a. Uh... Every man's journey, there's a moment of total clarity. When a blue sky or an empty road shows the way forward. I have had several moments like this during my life, but they always carried with them a spark of unpredictability, an energy I did not control. Was it these moments, these great creases in time, that brought me my wealth? My success, my institutions and engines of influence and power. I have explored many corners of the planet and subjected myself to many dangerous and foolish undertakings, seeking the answers to these questions. And I survived, often in spite of myself and my ambition to define the absolute edges of my own existence. But as the wheel of my life makes its final turn, I have decided the other wrong questions altogether. I am making new questions, and with them, new answers, new knowledge. A different world is coming. I am certain of it, and I will be prepared. It is only a matter of when, and it is in uncovering the when that I will define my own moment. Once again, I have seen the new horizon. Okay, this guy sounds like Colonel Kurtz from Apocalypse Now. Dude, Dunn lost his gourd. So this thing is obviously activated and powered and has something to do with the glimmer fog. We did advance, though. Look, it says... So this is what we're working on. Explore the locked zone, right? Blah, blah, blah. Check the foreman's reports for details on where to find the mine gate key. Did that. Investigate the machine chamber and control room four things that we have to do in here four things this this where we came in everything's lit up saving me from using the lantern oil oh wow wow they have a legit control room here there's a book right there Foreman's tool belt. High quality belt to lighten the load. Perfectly balanced to ensure all day comfort and stability. Okay. Um. So... What does it do for us? Let's take a look at our weight. I have insomnia. 82, 85. 79. So 82, 85. Okay. It's cool to have it. It's just like that rifle thingy, right? That's cool. So I found a tool belt. I found a gun um, scabbard. And I found the thermos. These are all things that were added in. I was able to find those things. My testament. A faded piece of paper covered in fine handwriting. Every man's journey, moment, total clarity, blue sky. Several moments like this during my life always carried them. Spark unpredictability. Energy I did not control. Yeah, it's called it's called insomnia. I survived often in spite of myself and my ambition to define absolute edges of my own existence, but as the wheel of my life makes its final turn, I've decided they are wrong. The wrong questions altogether. 
I'm making new questions and with them, new answers, new knowledge. A different world is coming. I'm certain of it. I would be prepared. It's only so. This is um, what we just heard him read down there. We'll take that with us. This will security chief's log illegible. I wanted to see you again. To feel your hand on my hip. Your smile in my eyes. Follow mission. I can't picture what this thing is without that. Or you. Everything is fading away here. I keep seeing my spot up above, near the waterfall. I want to escape. All oh, that water on its way to the sea. Far away. The only thing I know is if I write it down, it might get to you. Some way. I love you. Sounds like she's freezing. She's frost now. My breath. Well, that sucked. Secure. Oh, this is her. Human bones weathered by time and memory. Take it. Okay, I guess I just took her bones for some reason. These are the people right here. Rudiger's one of them. Form in sight, report daily. Uh, we're just waiting now. I've uh, been walking the tunnels up and down. Hair's <coughs> uh, getting bad again. Uh, just scribbling these reports. Not sure why, though. Not anymore. <coughs> it's like they. It's like they turned the lights off in my head. Uh, all dark. Where did it all go? Alright, so everybody's losing their mind. Lay the security chief bones to rest near the waterfall from her logbook Polaroid. Okay. So we did all four of the things they asked us here? Four of four. And we lay the security chief bones to rest near the waterfall from the Polaroid in her logbook. Where are the Polaroids at? Right here. The Polaroid tucked into the security chief's logbook. It's a waterfall. Okay. Does that mean we can get out of this crazy place? Look at this, dude. What is that? What is that? Like, what? What was Rudiger doing here? What are we doing here? I'm getting out of here, dude. So that security chief, she was she was everywhere, all over the place. We found her logbooks all through the bunkers of the signal void, all the way into this region all the way into this control room at the end of this huge mine and her bones on the floor. Bones, not a body. Remember all the bodies that we found? She was bones. So what What ate her down to the bones? Hmm. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. 
pretty uh, creepy. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Cancel. I want this. Drink. Perfect. Alright. I'm hoping... That was a long way in here. I'm hoping we can get out... We came in that way straight ahead. I'm hoping we can get out this way, but we're going to have to find a key or something. Or maybe it's bolt cutters. I don't know. I have the bolt cutter. Oh, my lantern ran. I'm like, why is my... Dude, my lantern ran out. Perfect. Was my lantern burning that whole time in there? I thought I had plenty of fuel left in it. Look, the lights are on now because the glimmer fog's out. I hope this is a shortcut and I hope I can get out because I couldn't get in from the other way. Oh, dude. This is way shorter, but can I get out? Oh, yeah. And this way coming out, there was no, there was no poison right here. So you can go that way. Like, what's that way? That this possibly, like, maybe you came down here, and maybe this this goes up to one of those other offshoots. So we got in, and we got out using both of the two gates that I I searched. So that's pretty good. Now, the waterfall. What time of day is... Oh, it's nighttime. We're going to go up here and we're going to get our sleep on. Oh, you know what I don't have, though? Is I don't have any tea on me. That was a mistake. I don't think I brought tea. I don't remember seeing any on me. The glimmer fog is out. Wow, it's super... It's, it's middle of the night, but look how bright everything looks. I don't know if it's going to let me sleep. All right. I don't think I have any tea on me. Why didn't I bring any tea? I have this. Um, there is... I was going to go out this way. But there is a fire barrel. Oh, it said I was getting cold, too. There's a fire barrel, I believe, back in this room right here. Oh, we got... No, we got to go back through that. Mm -hmm. It'd be easier just to go out. I think there's a fire barrel over there, isn't there? Might be one in there. Oh, this isn't, this isn't Glimmer Fog. This is an Aurora. Remember I, I said, oh, I don't think there's an Aurora in these zones because they use Glimmer Fog. It's an Aurora. But if you look at the ground in some areas, it definitely gave me insomnia. All right, is there a barrel anywhere? Gonna make some tea. Maybe. Did I see one on the second or third or fourth floor? Oh, there's a battery right there, too. Some lantern fuel. You're like, well, you got fuel, use your lantern. Let's go try and find a barrel so I can make some tea and oh you know what 
I'll use this. That'll last forever. That'll give us 12 hours worth of heat. If I can find one. can go all the way to the top. There's those beds up there. I don't remember if there was a kitchen up there. Seems like I'm going a little back and forth right now, but... It's so funny. You, you remember barrels when you don't need them, and then when you need them, you're like, where are all those barrels I saw? I'm just going to go straight up. We're here already. I'm going to see if there's a kitchen up here. I don't think there's any barrels there. There was a barrel in the mine, but I'm not going out those doors and over to the mine. Is there a kitchen? Anywhere? Anything? That's where you found the respirator. Kitchen. No cooker, though. Dead dude. Well, is there a bed here? There's no, not even bed. I thought there was beds up here. Maybe there's a tea sitting around? The soda. Do, 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 do. This didn't help. All right, I'm going to extinguish this. I don't have insomnia anymore, so I don't need, I don't need the tea. I'm just gonna sleep right here. Okay, and we're gonna sleep for uh, six hours. All right, it looked like uh, yeah. So I woke up to glimmer fog. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's all right. What do we have? Food. So we will eat some of this. Try and get some of that meat out of our system. Trying to finish off this drink, which we drank a portion of it. And let's get a move on. So I came all the way up here basically for nothing. I didn't ever check these lockers, I guess, when I was up here. Maybe there's something super good in here. Oh, uh, somebody locked their lockers on me. Can opener, nice. A book. Lantern fuel. Okay. Our weight is at 89 because I'm carrying that extra coal. All right. We're going to go outside. And we're going to try and find this waterfall. Now, I found a double waterfall down at the end by the helicopter crash. Pretty sure it's not that because it didn't, the Polaroid didn't look like that. Now, I did see another waterfall when I first came in this region. It's that way. So we're going to try and shoot over along the quarry toward the trailer. Go past the trailer through the... There's a, you know, a big poison area there. I can avoid most of that poison area by going around the quarry like I did. And then see if we can find her place where she took the Polaroid. And I guess we're going to put her bones to rest. Is that what she wanted? I think that's what it said. Something like that. So we got glimmer fog going. Beautiful. And it looks cold. So when I came over here, I came around one of these ways. Possibly, uh, did I up this? Oh, you know what? It looks like is it a one way?
Aha. Oh, dang it. I thought I'd be... There's... What the... Hmm. I don't remember coming down something that steep. From this side, it's really hard to identify the... Uh, the little cutouts in the quarry here. I think they want, yeah, I know what they want me to do. They want me to go through the poison area. All right, forget it. We're going to we're going to follow the road. It's a long poison area, but we still have I don't know, 6 or 7 of the canisters. So we go out here and get on the road. This whole area is poisoned out here. I never walked this way. I could just see it from the trailers. Look, the the things are on because of the glimmer fog. Empty. Did I come out here and search that person? Did I? This is weird. Did I? Oh. That may have been where I came through that guard shack. Now that I come to think about it, I remember the guard shack. Now this is the poison area all through here. I'll see as soon as my canister starts to decay, I'll use my sprint and have this ready. Health warning. I did not know it went down on that side. So hard to see. So hard to see. Might need to go over the trailers and make some tea. See if I can, e even if I don't get rid of the insomnia, at least if I can get rid of the fog so I can see. This is weird. I'm not getting poisoned all through there. I thought, I thought this whole area was poisoned. Oh, that echo. They were all around me. Wow, no poison here. Am I, I, I might be going somewhere that I've never been. I thought this whole area was poisoned. See, I'm thinking the trailers are on this side over here. This trailer, I'm, wa uh, here's the, I walked around this way. This area was all poison here. I think I'm in here somewhere. I think. But I remember, I could see poison for days in here. What if I'm walking like south instead of north or north instead of south? I can see poison right there. I really would like to find those trailers. Oh, now now it's getting me. Oh, maybe maybe I just wasn't as far. Wow, yeah, this is the section here. This is all bad stuff. That must have been what I saw from the trailers. Langston, Mining Corp. Wow, oh, that burned through a canister there. All right, I made it to the trailer. So I should be able to take this off. And then on my campfire here, I could make me some uh, stuff. Start the fire. Okay, put the gun away before I cap off a shot into the fire pit. We're going to add this coal and this reclaimed wood. Okay, and we're going to place that. 
We're gonna cook my last thing of tea. Pick up. Pick up. Take torch. All right. Go inside. The thing is, it's middle of the day. All right. So, oh, you've got insomnia risk. A glimmer fog. Or find an underground location to lower the risk. I want to get rid of the fog. So we're going to wait two hours and see if I get insomnia from standing here. I'm exhausted, yep. but I just I can't it. fall asleep. I got it. I got it. All right, fine. All right, so let's wait four hours, and then we'll drink the tea, and we'll sleep for 12. And hopefully we'll wake up with the fog clear so I can move on and bury the security chief. It's not really enough time. I need more. Okay. Some tea. Improved rest. I think what the tea does, <clears throat> it allows you to sleep through the night. Because what was happening before, if I had um, insomnia and I, and I was low on fatigue, it wouldn't let me sleep to recover that. I think that's the story with that. So if you drink the tea, it, it allows you to sleep through the night, at least. It may not... Yeah, 16 hours worth of that. It may not do anything for your insomnia, but at least it lets you sleep and regain your fatigue, your fatigue meter. Nice. Take the charcoal. Look at this. So looking from here, you see all the poison down there, the toxic cloud. I thought it went all the way. It actually only goes to right over there. And I, I, it, for looking from this way, I definitely went down through that by the truck and came down and then went around. So, hey, what do you expect? It was glimmer fog. Now, you can go this way or you can go up and over the trailer area to avoid this. But I'm going to go down this way. This isn't suffocation risk either here. This is uh, just poison. I gotta see where I saw that waterfall at. Now, if I'm in poison, I survey. I'm, that's like me standing in poison for what is it, an hour or something? Or didn't we see down here a waterfall? I was up there, and I looked this way. I don't see it. There's a river. Wolves for days. Where is that waterfall at? Finally get... To, oh, no. The fog's come... Oh, no. No. It's not glimmer fog. I never got to come over here yet. I was trying to get around that way from the other waterfalls. Oh, the other thing you guys said in the comment section was pretty sure that if you quarter the deer, it will drop the hide and the gut on the ground as well. So I didn't need to... Um, Strip the hide and then quarter it. I could have just quartered it. Wow, I, don't, I can't see the waterfall. I don't know if it'll let me do this right now either. Oh, it will. See, here's the river. Right here. Could 
could have swore I saw a waterfall over here. This isn't a river, this is a lake. I need to reload, man. I'm two short, two bullets short. Two sandwiches short of a picnic here. Get up on another level. Can see this bad boy. I mean, it's possible it's farther back that way because I looked, I think, from either up there or up there at some point. See, here's another lake. Gotta find me a waterfall. Oh, right there. Wow, it was kind of around the corner. Man, it would have almost been better to go up and behind the trailer, I think, would have gotten me. Oh, no, actually, I just I dropped down right there. This thing, this little guy was kind of hidden back in here. All right, so it says, lay the security chief bones to rest near the waterfall from her thingy. Okay, you're looking at it, it's kind of in a V-notch here. It's got a log here, trees there. There's the tree there. There's the V-notch. This is definitely it, so. What's that? Lay the bones to rest. Tale completed, buried echoes, badge received. I finished it. Look, signal void, done. Buried echoes, done. Search the lengths of my remnants of Rudiger and his project, done. So, wow, cool. Um, I, I don't think that, um, I don't think that I fully got the understanding of what this machine was that Rudiger was doing. See, there's a way through here from the trailer through this way. It's really foggy. I don't know what that was. Like, what did that machine do? M were you guys paying closer attention than I was, possibly, to the uh, all that chit-chat that we had from the books? I, I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect it to be over that quick. If you think about it... If I came in here and probably did one, two, maybe three episodes before I figured out that signal void needed to be done. So. Okay, there's that thing. So, okay, this guy got pissed again. Oh, that was a miss. Wow, seriously? Get the heck out of here, dog. He died. Really? They're like, all right, he finished. Let's let let's let get him attacked one more time. Jerks. Maybe maybe it's because I had insomnia and I just didn't know how to fight anymore. It was some bad I had some lazy aiming right there, that's for certain. Lazy. Anyway, what I was saying was I didn't expect it to, um, <clears throat> you know, taking away the other couple when I had to make my way here and, you know, my little bit of exploration once I got in here. Uh, what do we do? One episode, 
We, we found the boss's overlook, went down to the helicopter, got the foreman's key, got the bolt cutters. Then the next episode, we got the bolt cut, used the bolt cutters. We got made our way down. We got the respirator. We got the mine key. Then the third episode, we got all the way through the mine, did all that stuff, got out, buried the bones, and done. So theoretically, if I would have been done with Signal Void, um, I went the wrong way. It's it's up there somewhere. Theoretically, if Signal Void was done and I would have started right outside this zone, this would have been three episodes. Three one-hour episodes. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Is this where I came down? Dude, when the fog comes out... Where was that? Maybe it was farther this way? Up here. Oh, the music's playing. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's okay for part four of a DLC. They, they definitely did a good job with the buildings. I, I like the bigger buildings. I like the bigger bunkers. I almost want to take all my stuff <laughs> and go live in that bunker at um, Forsaken Airfield until this isn't the way either. What in the deuce? Dude, the fog just will screw with your head. I don't know how to get out of here. And I, I can't I can't draw right now. Low visibility. Yeah, three episodes, I guess that's okay. And like I said, I did like the buildings, but I don't know if there's... It took eight months or so between Signal Void and this one. So I don't know. I don't know if uh, they're going to be doing another one. Why did I not walk up here? This may be it. And I. it's been so confusing for me. I can't remember if the final chapter of Winter Mute was done. The last one, they, they added Black Rock, and then I, maybe there was something after it, and it's done. I, did, I don't remember the conclusion. But if that's done, that means it's done. You're just going to play Survival. You can play Tails, and if they're going to do another tail, should be heading toward the Poison. I think, wow, the fog can just, I think the trailers are right up there. The fog can totally mess with you. And unfortunately I can't, uh, I can't uh, map the area with this fog. Wow, if you're not careful with your canisters, like, in the mine you could run out of canisters and not be able to get in there I don't I mean I was really careful and look I have six canisters left sounds like a lot but what if I wasn't as careful and I burned through these things and you, you won't be able to get through the mine down to finish this off maybe they put canisters somewhere else why I'm taking this off, but I am. So I remember walking through here and there was nothing bad. So yeah, I would be, uh, it would be kind of cool to like collect some of the stuff in here as much as you can with the, your Travoy, right? And then head to the Forsaken Airfield and live in that bunker. be too far for the pistol you better run sucker oh he didn't run very far that did not scare him very much it's right there not anymore revolver firearm master uh-huh 
That's me. I'm a master. Cool. Well, I mean, this game here, you you take what it gives you. That's the way I look at this. Slow, methodical, moving game, right? I think that guy's down in the pit. That wolf's down in the pit. You give, you take what it gives you, and I think that's a good thing. If this was like, I don't know, Call of Duty campaign where it's like action just crazy all the time, but really short, you, you're you left wanting, right? You're left wanting. But in here, because it's, like I said, pretty methodical and slow moving, you know what I'm going to do? There's this thing over here. I want to check. i got to put my mask on. I've been walking by what looks like uh, a fenced-in poison area, I believe. I thought it was here. Oh, that's poison. Oh, maybe it's up there. But for this, yeah, I think that's good. That was part whatever. Part four, meaning part four of the... Uh, Wow, this is really bad looking. Oh, this is just the another guard area to get in. This is just the Langston Mine entrance. I thought this fence down all that was like some kind of stash, like a cachet or something. Well, there goes another filter. I do like that they did auto load. On the filter, that's that's actually pretty cool. Not that it would be that big of a deal to uh, hit your space bar. The fog really changes. You have no idea where you're at. There's poison here, and I have no sprint left. I thought maybe if I went to that thing and stayed on that side, I would avoid this little crossing I keep having to do. Now, I never put on a chemical suit. I never put on the boots, the pants, nothing. The underwear, chemical boxers, I don't know. I never put any of that on. So it's not needed. It's not needed like you're not going to get corrosive... Uh, acid on you or something in the mine that's going to eat up your... Well, I haven't checked my clothes, but I think they're okay. Made my way back to here. This is definitely a place I wouldn't want to stay because it's cold inside. wonder how, how long that... I still... This whole time, I haven't been able to make the Travoy. One, because I, I made the mistake of misreading the recipe. I needed more of these sticks. Oh, it's going to be done. So so we're back here, and we're going to eat some peanut butter in celebration of our victory. Stale peanut butter, that is. And we're going to drink some snappy orange soda. This is like a little party time. And I'm going to stay here in anticipation if there's a, another part to the Tales of the Far Territory. And who knows? I, I, I'm I guessing... Jeez, I'm guessing that the other part's done. It's been so long. And for them to release this kind of side DLC that runs in survival mode, I like that idea. Because it, it was expanding upon survival mode and not winter mute the story mode. But if it is done, it was not memorable because I don't remember. I don't remember if, if uh, Mackenzie and the girl met back up, you know, I, it's even hard for me to kind of recall the, the whole story because it's been years, like, in the making and since I played it. But I like this. I like this. I like what they've done. I, I hope they do another one, but I don't know if they sh can because we just unlocked, like, the secret to all the stuff. Kind of. Rudiger. But these are people that we never met. Well, we met them. They were dead, frozen on the ground. All right, that's enough bumping my gums. Hope you guys enjoyed me revisiting the long dark for this latest Far Territory drop of Buried Echoes. We're done. We got her done. Thanks for watching.